drove up and it was like, wow, I can't park where I normally park. There's a lot of action right there. <laughs> and that's where it began. Thousands took notice of this guy in the yellow shirt as Jim Gardner and Sky News 9 streamed this breaking news online today. What caught our eye, he kept on working out after a car slammed into his gym. News 9 Steve Shaw is on the story at Northwest 50th in Portland tonight. Steve? Kelly and Bobby, the name of the gym is OKCPT. The owner says, yeah, it was crazy, but he says he's seen a lot crazier. Jim Gardner and Sky News 9 hovered above just after it happened. I was taking my lunch break and one of the other uh, trainers called and said, okay, stay calm, there's a car inside your gym. Gym owner Robert Brody says nobody panicked here. I think he just, I don't know, missed the break. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to talk to him. The driver is a gym member. Neither he nor his passenger were injured. He wasn't talking either, but that's okay. Absolutely. We're all human, and there's always human error. And it's no big deal because we're all that way. While all heck had broken loose around him, Mark Erickson was adamant about getting his cardio on, just feet from the mess. Everybody wants to know who you are, man. Well, it's me. <laughs> just Mark. <laughs> Some may even suggest Mark Erickson is the most interesting man in the world. Oh, well, that's great. Uh, send a dollar. A dollar a person would be great. Brody says they'll board the place up tonight, but tomorrow morning, OKCPT will again be cracking. Nothing stops us. I mean, there'll be no power here, and we're still going to be open. No excuses. No excuses, no. <laughs> Seriously, Brody says this is nothing compared to the cases of road rages he sees going across here northwest 50th in Portland. Live on the scene on the story in Oklahoma City, Steve Shaw, News 9.